Hey guys, in this video, I'm gonna go over the differences between the standard and premium connectivity packages that you can get in your Tesla vehicle and the prices of these as well as what you get in each of them can change over the course of time. But right now the premium connectivity package is $9.99 a month or if you do a full year subscription, it's $99.99, whereas the standard is included for free. But starting off in the first line, we have navigation. Standard and premium both have navigation, and that includes navigating around traffic. If the navigation system sees that there is a traffic jam or traffic in the area, both standard and premium will try to route you to a better path around that. Now, line two there, live traffic visualization. This is just seeing on the map where the traffic is currently congested, and it will be colored on the map, and you'll be able to see that with the premium connectivity package. The next line down, sentry mode viewing live camera. This is an option that you have, for instance, in the Tesla app, where you can view the live camera feed of sentry mode in the Tesla app itself. You get that with premium, but not with standard. It is worth noting that sentry mode still works otherwise in standard connectivity. It's just you don't have the option to view the live camera feed. Next line down is the satellite view of the map. This is just an option that you'll have in the navigation screen that you'll have a satellite view instead of just the standard view of the map. I personally like using the satellite view of the map, but it's certainly not something that you need to have for the navigation to function in the vehicle. And these final four lines of video streaming, karaoke, music streaming, and internet browser, you can access these on the standard connectivity, but you'll have to be connected over Wi-Fi. Whereas with premium connectivity, it's going to give you access to these features over cellular data. So you can still access these when you're away from a Wi-Fi connection. And video streaming would be services such as Netflix, Hulu, Disney+, Plus, other things such as that. Karaoke is just being able to sing karaoke in your car. Music streaming, this would be using something like Spotify, but you can actually still use this if you're not connected to Wi-Fi in standard connectivity. If you have it running through your phone, hooked up through Bluetooth, and I found personally that being able to control my music in Spotify through the premium connectivity plan is just a better user experience. But you can get around it with the standard connectivity plan using Bluetooth through your phone. And finally, the internet browser is just searching for websites, for instance, through the internet browser, and you can do this over Wi-Fi in standard connectivity, whereas you can also do this away from Wi-Fi over cellular data using premium connectivity. And last but not least, another frequently asked question that's worth noting is that cars with standard connectivity will still receive over-the-air software updates. Again, they're just going to need to update over Wi-Fi, and I recommend doing this when you're on premium connectivity anyways to update the car when you're connected to your home Wi-Fi. To wrap this video up, I will note that I'm on the yearly premium connectivity plan, so it's $99.99 a month, US dollars in America. And that comes out to between about $8 to $9 a month. I think it's worth it, as it makes the overall user experience with your Tesla vehicle better. But if you didn't want to sign up for premium connectivity, you can still get around it and have access to a lot of these features in different ways with standard connectivity. But it's just going to be a more limited experience in some of these aspects. So I hope this video was helpful walking you through the differences between standard and premium connectivity in your Tesla vehicle. I appreciate you guys stopping by. Consider subscribing to the YouTube channel and I'll catch you back here next time.